Hey everybody, Radom here for another episode of the Desert Survival Series. So I believe, if I've done my math right, this is the last one that is pre-recorded until I return. So, um, hello from the future. Thank you for tuning in. Last we left off, Santiago with her architect legs going a bazillion miles an hour, moving at 150% speed, is flying towards the peace talks. And I was also contemplating doing this... Uh, outpost. Um, Hin Hatter faction is the rough outlanders and uh, my someone I'm friendly with wants it destroyed. It's tempting. Uh, it does pose of course a risk but it is tempting nonetheless. Uh, we also want one more arm. I think the last injury that we have is an index finger here. Uh, let me double check. Oh no, we have two. We have... Um, Mila, oh, Earth bit her finger off. Okay, so we need two more arms. Let's just ignore the fact that Earth bit that off. Um, so we'll queue two more arms up. And then I want to start working on marine armor and stuff like that. Like really, really top tier stuff. Because it is important. And without it, uh, you know, I'm running out the clock. All right, Peace Talks Triumph. Improved relations, 107. Gained 6,000 experience. They've warmed. Uh, we have goodwill now. And they gave me silver. Wow. That's uh, nice. I, that's, that's pretty nice. Santiago here, if we remember, uh, let's look. Is... Oh. We have a social skill of nine. So it's actually not even that high, but uh, apparently we don't need it to be all that high to be effective as a negotiator with tribals that speak in monosyllabic languages. Zug zug. All right, so we are arting up the crap out of our dining room to try to get it uh, a tier of impressive that I rarely achieve. Uh, for that, we might need to if we look at it, uh, hmm. I don't know. I, we might need to, like, guild some stuff. It might not be possible to do it in statues. Or it's possible, of course, to do it in statues, but it might not be all that effectively feasible to do it in statues, I should say. Extremely impressive still. Yeah, it's not moving very much. Now another thing that we were doing was having um, Omni b make a bunch of dusters. So that's still something I'd like to do. I can always do another trade trip as well. I feel like Mudge installs the art at like half the speed that Jenny produces it. <clears throat> That's um, either a testament to Jenny's speed or a testa to, testament to Mudge's speed. I'm not sure which. Mudge is uh, Mudge is pretty ba baller when it comes to to production speed. Really a zippy guy, right? Uh, so Santiago's returning home, no problem. She's super fast. Uh, Omni is making a bionic arm. Ta-da. And I think the bit off finger, let's just ignore the fact that that ever happened. That would be healthy, right? All right, so you're a little drunk and I'm gonna cut into you a little bit with a doctor who also has a frostbite scar. Not sure what that would look like, but welcome home. So, uh, checking the faction inf information, we have some goodwill that, oh, hi, yeah, I'm not sure why you left those there, um, ran out of storage space probably. We have some, um, well, we've been making some lovely progress. At this point, I think... I'm going to go for a grand statue. Let's uh, let's do that. 
Let's make it out of... I don't know. Whatever. Doesn't matter. We're going for the grand ones. Obviously, if I did it in marble... Uh, let's do it in marble. Let's change my mind. Use the marbles beauty modifier and Jenny, 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 I'm changing my mind. No longer incapable of walking. Good. So the last pawn that needs healing, I believe, is Jenny. Uh, let's look. Other than Mudge, of course. Oh, well, torso, but that's something a little different. Okay. Uh, we did prep this area here. Um, Santiago, I'm going to have you go there. Actually, do you do construction? You really don't. So I'm not, I'm, I'm reneging on that. Omni will go and he'll break down a wall and see what's in there. Might be nothing. How long do I have for that outpost? 16 days? Guess gives me some time to prepare. Ooh, this is open. Sorry, Roman. I'm sure that's been true for a long time now, but I didn't notice. My bad. We are building quite the stockpile of... Uh, of tea. All right, so now that we're done with this advanced component, before we make another one, I'm gonna have him run all the way over here and figure out what's in here. Because I'm curious. Quell's probably been mining in the, yep, in the gulag. Slagging away in here. You can definitely see the progress. I haven't found a whole lot in there for the effort, but you know, you have to check, right? You just have to check. Oh, see? See? You can always find some more stuff. All right, Omni, we are going to destroy this slowly and close the doors behind us. I don't know if this is the ancient danger. No, it wasn't. Okay. Um, well, that was anticlimactic. wonder if there is an ancient danger around here. I like how I'm roofing it off. Like, oh yeah, I just discovered an, uh, a building that's been here for hundreds of years. Let's throw a roof on it. All right, well, we'll get rid of all of the invested uh, construction. And pretend I didn't make that mistake. Oh, more compacted machinery. And almost at the end of the... I almost turned around. Ooh. A little bit of a roof collapse because I wasn't paying attention. And I crushed an eye. Well done. Well friggin' done. Well, the joy is... Um, I could use another eye. Why not? I'll even make it before the uh, arm because, you know, it's kind of important. All right, uh, roof collapse. Yes, so we built a roof and then we collapsed one on our heads because that makes total sense. That's exactly how you play this game. Uh, someone as experienced as me should have not fallen for something as stupid as that. That is a, that's pretty dumb as far as dumb goes. But hey, we all make mistakes. Now another thing I'm going to have to do is we are going to have to roof some of this off because if we ever get bugs, you know, we're going to have to kill them uh, in efficient ways. And then I'm also going to have to compartmentalize this further, uh, adding additional uh, doors and the like once I I'm, I'm feel like I'm done with the area, just for security. That, that first infestation almost did me in. 
or could have, I should say. Pirate Merchant, good, 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 good. Uh, the reason I really want a Pirate Merchant is they sometimes have lungs, and this one does not. Uh, I will sell my LMG. I don't really know. I guess I'm sentimental about it. I was holding on to it for a very, very long time for not a really good reason. Uh, how much? We don't really need to deter mean, so I'm not going to bother um, trading for any. And you know what? I'm going to trade off my flak. I'm just going to do it. It's just been sitting here. Uh, I can make better flak than this, so I might as well just pull the trigger. Uh, and then additionally, this trade beacon probably shouldn't be where it is, but we'll pretend like I know that. Additionally, uh, we have a lot of drugs, so I'm going to sell 159 Psychite Tea and 25 beer. Or 20, no, I, I want to sell the beer. I want to sell 25 beer for a thousand more. And then let's reinstall this in the ass end of nowhere so it can never come back and bite us. Although they've just been landing kind of the average where everyone is, more or less. God, watching her run around is hilarious. All right, Pirate Merchant, you suck. Uh, factions. Hmm. I'd be kind of curious to travel to the tribes to see if these tribes here have anything of worth to sell. Um... Mostly because, you know, I'm looking for a long or whatever. But you never know. They sometimes have something cool. Like the architect leg that we found. Not always, though. Alright, Mr. Omni. Removing the roof. Colonist needs treatment. It's just his lungs. He's fine. Muscle parasites, and everyone got it. Five of my colonists. Um, nice. Right in the middle of getting my bionic eye, too. Muscle parasites are really annoying. They make you manipulate less and move less. I mean, they're kind of like the most annoying, I would say, of all of the uh, maladies that you can have. Muscle parasites are just like... I don't know, because it, it, it sticks around. It's not like a plague where you heal up. It's not like the uh, mech, mechanites where there's some sort of perceivable benefit. It's just bad. It's just straight bad. Um, you know, you're extra tired. You're in pain. You move slower. There's really nothing good about them, and it lasts for a long time. What is this? I sell tea to pirates, and the pirates are like, we don't want your tea. And they just drop the tea back on me. It's good to know that I can sell one thing and have it immediately show up. And you can even, like, just listen who has the parasites, right? Because, you know, she was mining at such a such a slow speed, it's like, alright, yeah, you obviously have parasites. Bummer. That's not something you rest off, at least. I don't know. It's just one of my least favorites. So now, in the process of fine foods, we'll also allow the milk. We have a lot of milk, we have a lot of eggs. Might as well be getting through those. More steel, huh? It's too bad I'm not finding more useful resources. I'm mostly finding stuff that... Uh, mostly just steel. No plasteel, no jade, no gold, no uh, uranium back here. Just boring old steel. Could be worse. Could find nothing for my effort, but... Oh. I have to deconstruct this. Hope it's not ancient danger. 
So I'm surely not going to pay enough attention to it. Almost done with that grand statue. Fudge and Pudge sitting around doing a whole lot of nothing. Well, the good news is Mudge didn't get the parasites because he'd be laid up for the entire duration. He wouldn't move an inch. All right, so this is it. First marble grand statue coming off the line. It's good. It looks real odd, though. Really go install it. Kind of looks like a collapsed building. Oh, uh, it will portray a collapse of debris. So... Dodging a cave-in? Yeah, I guess that is accurate. Uh, we're still in the extremely impressive range here. Let's go and up the ante one more. Uh, marble behemoth of whatever. We'll just keep, keep sending you back for more. Uh, in terms of recreation, I haven't checked in a long time. What does it say we need? We need... Five, and I have more than five. Okay. Good, good. I could have assumed that, given that I don't have upset pawns, but... You know. Alright, so we made the Bionic Eye. Omni, you have a crushed left eye, don't you? You get a nicer one, won't you? Oh, uh, looks... Did the... No, the Muscle Parasites aren't gone. Just Omni never had them. You better not mess up, Jenny. I know you have parasites, but you better not mess up. I'll be mad, and then I'll be dead. Because you'll have brained me. Well, there's a new uh, surplus of marble that I've found. Clearly, I'm not hurting for steel no more. We're having to dig through basically a cave made of it. Uh, I also tapped some steel over here. Yeah, here we are. Don't want to forget about that. All right, moment of truth. Maybe I should have used better meds, because... Okay, I held my breath a little bit there. We are good, and he's back to normal. So, doing a little bit of a health check. We have... Hello, goodbye. No, thank you. We have the right pinky, and that is it. Um, one of the curious things I had was... If we called about that AI core... Yes, they would still offer it to me. I don't know if that's timed. But maybe I take them up on it. Maybe not. We'll have to see. So all I need now is that one arm and I am whole. Or rather, all of my pawns are whole. Omni's back up. And as good as ever. And actually, having him, um, wow, that is, oh, okay, it was tribal wear. Having him with the Bionic Eye, if we look at his, let's say, uh, tailoring speed, uh, sight, oh, uh, sight is, is only in importance for up to 100% max, um, but whatever. Obviously, having one eye would make that a lot slower. Some things, like hunting, obviously, sight is more important. How's the wool coming along? 71, 71. These guys need to be milked, too. Uh, O'Connell, your first priority is going to be milking them. It's sort of free... Protein, right? For for fine meals, so might as well take advantage of that. Now, what if we cleaned up this animal filth? 150. Ah, so close. Of course, all this art making really does throw our 
um, money out of whack. But that's fine by me. I don't mind being wealthy. The enemies can try to pry it from my cold, dead hands. Ooh, we are draining from the grid. I guess that's what happens during a volcanic winter. So I was actually thinking um, of where to put the ship. We can also put the ship back here. Uh, so this might not be enough space. Honestly, we could just put the ship here, too. I'll just have to move this trap area. I wouldn't even really have to move it. Oh, look at that. Look at that. It is Devil Strand Day. I'm not fond of seeing botched things. Uh, here, we could grow whatever we want. Um, I'm just going to go with Devil Strand again. Philly, how about you haul some home? I worked so long getting this stuff. Hello. Hi, Marble. Where'd you come from? Space? Likely story. That was a long time growing. I'd be curious to see if any of you know how long that took. Because uh, obviously, when I first planted it, is somewhere in one of those episodes sometime. Uh, it's been a long time coming. And all that work for 267 Devil Strand. Not terrible. Not a, not a, not a huge uh, yield. Um, Devil Strand is just not that great of a uh, cash crop <laughs> for the extreme desert. All right, here's the last advanced component we need for the Bionic Arm. And I'm still eyeballing this because it has gold, plasteel, uranium. Um, the trifecta metals. I'm really low on plasteel, in fact. Uh, I could really afford to stop the uh, tunnel munching. That's what I'm going to call it. I like that. Tunnel munching. And start working on plasteel. Because I have a lot of steel. I don't need more. So I can cancel some of the steel. The components I'll mine out just because they're components. Um, what I'm going to do is... Oh, that's ugly. I'm going to very carefully, delicately put plans on where I have uh, ores, metals, available for mining. Aurora. Yeah, I f don't think we're far enough north on the globe for an aurora here. No, I guess we're kind of, we're kind of. I don't know if it's really programmed like that, but. What am I, a scientist? Okay, we can't even plan here, so I'll just plan there. Too close to edge. And a manhunter pack. I bet I know what these are. Ooh, no, I don't. I bet I don't know what those are. So here's the big thing, is we are going to use a lot of uranium for this. I'm going to need to refill said uranium. Um, then everyone else, minus Mila, I guess, and Mudge. Go ahead and come down here. Elephants don't need to be lured close. Disease Plague. Okay. Uh, yeah. You are going to go rest. And Jenny, I'm going to pull you off to tend to Quell. Quell, you are going to get... Oh, you're already getting meds. Okay. Well, that's a bummer. Um, Let's get... Fighters to the front. One thing I'm curious about trying is the deadfall trap. These elephants really aren't living very long. Uh, what is their temperature sensitivities? 122? Yeah, that's, that's not very high. 
Roof collapse. Uh, it did it, some cuts, but it didn't do much. Didn't do quite what I was looking to do. Uh, what I'm probably going to do is uh, add this all as home zone and clean it all up because it's really not benefiting me. Uh, the elephants do walk slower in the darkness here. So if I look... Really? They don't? I do. My pawns do. I don't know. I can rescue one of you. If I wanted. What I like about elephants is they're very food um, dense. Right? Oh, you gored me. Alright, Santee. Uh, you get to punch a few elephants down. I'm going to unforbid these because they definitely need to be uh, recharged. Oh, I feel kind of bad. I mean, they were coming to kill me, right? I don't have to feel bad, right? So I'm building these roofs because I think human pawns move slower in darkness, or at least mine do. Um, so I'm just making it dark near the kill box. Digging deep drill, I'm gonna have you haul. I'm just gonna do some manual hauling. Uh, Roman, did you? No, you haven't been patched up. If anyone should be hauling, it's Santiago, because she's fast. And I can leave one of these open. Make it a little faster. Well, that roof collapse worked, but it was a little underwhelming. This might not be something I replicate. O'Connell. You get to haul. Don't worry, you don't have to clean the fire foam. Earth. You get to haul. Yes, I could manually prioritize it, but... You know, this is fine. Just hauling it one at a time. Santi, before you sleep, you get to haul. I bet you saw that coming. I guess I won't even say it anymore, because... It's probably paining you all that I have to say haul. First time I have some break risks in a long time. Um, my colonists are notorious for not breaking very easily because I make them happy. So, surprised actually. Um, let's go and consume a lavish meal. And more lavish meals. Oh, she was getting loving. Uh, did I screw that up? I might have screwed that up a little bit. Miller's no longer paying out in food. I just didn't want to go have the elephants go to waste, but it was a lot of work to um, to make sure that they were uh, stored properly, I guess. And as such, oh uh, well, a lot of the mood problems I have is with the stupid muscle parasites. It's not it's not me. It's not me, it's you. Uh, I'm gonna wake O'Connell up and have him drink and eat some nice stuff. I'm trying to avoid some unnecessary uh, mental breaks if I can't help it. So his mood is aiming to be quite high. Santiago, your mood is aiming to be higher than it is at least now. Let's go ahead and butcher another creature. Earth, before you finish that meal, I would like for you to crank out some more. I 
it's rare I catch them in time. Realm unhealed from the crack in his leg. And now we're starting to butcher uh, elephants. So what I'm going to do is forbid the elephants and do the dromedaries first. Although I like the elephant tusks. Um, the dromedaries are older and will spoil first. And I'd like to avoid that as a possibility. Nope. That was kind of worthless. Well, if you're over here... How about you haul some marble back? It's interesting the path they take. Well, sometimes. It's not always interesting. Well, guys, uh, unfortunately for you, I noticed that I was just about over time. Um, so, yeah, I feel bad about all those elephants. I like elephants. But uh, if you have any feedback for me, drop me a line. I'll probably be able to answer tomorrow because I'll be back at my computer after a little bit of a break. Uh, if you have any questions for me, drop me a line. I hope you tune in next time. And as always, uh, have a good one.